All right, hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to be going over the Garmin Edit Stabilization, um, the different modes in the software. Um, so let's just go jump right into it and uh, check out the very first one, which is the, the standard default mode, which is the stabilization only. Here I have a, uh, a clip. On the left, we have no stabilization. And then on the right, we actually have the, the default stabilize only, which in my personal opinion is the best option if you need pure stabilization and horizontal um, or the horizon adjustments. As you can see when you're walking up, down, up and down the, the stairs, um, it does a really good job. Uh, this video clip is specifically made just to test out this feature because I know that walking up and down stairs would make the, the most noise and vibrations and make it as unstable as possible. And as you can see, it does a, a very good job of stabilizing it, especially when going down the stairs. So that was a good example for the, uh, the stabilization feature. Next, let's take a look at the, the follow path, which is an interesting stabilization mode. So for here, uh, I'm riding a bike, um, and I purposely made this video specifically to test out this feature. Um, so I am going around in a circle on a roundabout, and I'm constantly looking left and right with my helmet. So as you can see on the left, the camera moves left and right with my head and continuously does this while I go in a circle roundabout motion. Uh, but on the right side, you can actually see, with a little bit of jerkiness, it, it follows the path of where I'm going, and which is mostly centered. So other than a little bit of jerkiness here and there, overall it does a pretty good job. So now you know what, what exactly to expect from the, the follow path feature. Next, let's take a look at the compass lock which in my opinion really shouldn't be in the stabilization options because really it's only used for 2D videos. So on the left is the same clip that we saw earlier and on the right I basically just started the, um, the, the location pointing in a certain direction and throughout the entire video it's just gonna stay there which is nice but in a 360 video the user is going to be able to, to move around. So this is specifically only for 2D video if you want to focus on a certain point and basically not allow the user to, to rotate around and actually look throughout the, the 360 video. And lastly, the, the vibration reduction option for some reason didn't really work for me in any of my test videos. I'm not sure if that was a camera problem or a software problem. But I'm going to try uh, and make some more test videos to see if I can actually figure that out. And so that, that's, that's it for uh, today. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, any feedback, uh, check out 360hippo.com uh, where all the tutorials and uh, other posts are there. Thanks, guys. You have a good one.